In this video, we wanted to discuss choke, which is a very common and often very scary um, emergency for our equine clients. And the first thing that I want to say is that in horses, choke is actually an esophageal choke, um, which is a common misunderstanding with our owners and can lead to some unnecessary panic. So the obstruction is in the horse's esophagus, not in their windpipe. Um, so unlike in humans, they can still breathe um, and they will not asphyxiate and pass out before we get there. So although choke is an urgent emergency, um, it is not immediately life-threatening. So um, with that in mind, uh, what are the symptoms of choke? Um, what you'll notice if your ho horse is choking is that often there is saliva and maybe some feed material coming out of their nostrils, often both nostrils. And they will often choke and they'll again choke up kind of some frost, frothy saliva or some feed material with that as well. Sometimes you can actually see a mass on the left side of the neck um, because the esophagus uh, travels down the left side of their neck. Um, and they often do a very characteristic movement where they're, with their neck where they shorten it and, and scrunch it up as they're trying to relieve the obstruction. I, I call it accordioning the neck because that's what it looks like to me. Um, and it's very characteristic for a choke. Um, but the symptoms can be variable. I've definitely seen chokes that have had no saliva or food material coming out of their nostrils. I've seen chokes that are often mistaken for colic because they can be quite distressed. Uh, I had one choke that was throwing itself on the ground and rolling like a colic. Um, I've seen others where they weren't passing any, any saliva out of their nostrils, but they were not wanting to eat, pawing at the ground. Um, and then eventually we did see that they shortened their neck up and tensed their neck up and, and it was obvious that the horse was choking. So the next question is what to do if your horse is choking and the first thing I want to stress again is to stay calm and help keep your horse calm. If your horse is trained to lower its head on command that's actually a very useful thing as we try to encourage the horses to keep their heads low. One of the um, significant problems with the choke is that they can uh, inhale some of the saliva and feed material into their lungs and can set up an aspiration pneumonia, which is quite a serious complication of a choke. So if you can get the horse to keep its head nice and low and keep the horse quiet, you'll lessen the risk that they will inhale any of that to, to set up the, the pneumonia. If you know that your horse is choking, then it would be wise to remove all feed and give us a call and, and we'll, uh, we'll start on our way out there. Now many cases of choke will resolve on their own and if you think your horse has had a choking episode and it has now relieved, um, your horse is much calmer, they're no longer coughing, there's no longer saliva coming out of their nose, one of the first things that you can do is offer them some water. Very often they won't drink but if they will and you can notice that it goes down the throat then you know that the obstruction has passed. Um, we're reluctant to give much feed, but if you're quite confident that the horse is not choking anymore um, and want to offer some feed to see if it will go down, the best thing to offer would be a little bit of soft green grass. Um, but if there's any doubt over whether or not the choke is resolved, please have us out and we will assess the horse and, and make that determination. What we as veterinarians do for a choke is we sedate the horse to keep them quiet. Um, and give them some drugs that will relax the esophagus and sometimes that by itself is enough to allow the choke to pass. Um, if the obstruction is still present, we'll then pass a nasogastric tube up the nose and into the esophagus and gently work to relieve the obstruction. In many cases though, choke can be prevented by taking a, a few simple steps. Um, there are some feeds that are much more prone to causing choke and the biggest culprit for that is unsoaked beet pulp. Uh, beet pulp is, is meant to be soaked before it's Bed and it expands rapidly when it comes into contact with moisture and that moisture, if it's unsoaked, could be the, the saliva uh, in the mouth and in the esophagus. Um, although beet pulp and unsoaked beets is, are the most common foods that horses choke on, they really can choke on anything and it depends more on how they eat the food uh, sometimes rather than what they are eating. I've seen horses choke on complete pellets, senior speed, um, oats, unsoaked alfalfa cubes, uh, just about anything. And the, the common factor there was that they'll take a great big bite and bolt into their food and swallow it all at once, causing a great big bolus that just gets stuck in the esophagus. So the prevention of choke can uh, be aimed at, at preventing that. If a, a food is meant to be soaked, like beet pulp, soak it thoroughly before feeding it and make sure it's fully expanded. Um, and even some feeds that can be fed dry, like senior speed, or complete feed for some horses need to be fed slightly soaked or well soaked so that they don't choke. Um, 
it's also uh, sometimes helpful to feed horses their short feeds in very shallow, uh, wide uh, tubs so that they can't take a big, deep bite into a deep layer of feed. If it's, if it's a thinner layer of feed and more spread out, it will slow them down in their chewing. And, and sometimes we put something in there, like little um, uh, obstacles that will slow down their chewing as well. Um, sometimes that means we have to feed uh, short feeds in more than one tub if our horse is really prone to bolting feed and choking. Um, social stress stresses can also play a role in that. Uh, if a dominant horse is feeling like they need to protect their feed, they'll often take a great big bite and swallow it quickly before they snarl at one of their pasture mates. Or conversely, if it's a, a horse that's low in the feeding pecking order, they'll try to eat quickly to avoid being snarled at by the dominant horse. So if uh, you can identify any social structure problems that are contributing to a choke, that can, that can go a long way to prevention. Also in our geriatric horses or, or horses that have significant dental concerns, um, having those regularly addressed by a veterinarian is important. Um, for our geriatric horses that don't have much for teeth left, they have difficulty processing their feeds or chewing them thoroughly, and, and especially for something like cubes or even hay, they, can, they cannot process it well enough before they swallow it and they can choke on it then. So in summary, choking horses is an esophageal obstruction. If, if your horse does choke, keep calm, give us a call, and aim to keep your horses calm as well keeping their head low if possible. Most cases of choke resolve uneventfully, either on their own or within, um, with a small amount of, of veterinary intervention, but it's important to recognize episodes of choke so they can be dealt with promptly and avoid more serious complications.